everyday foods, everyday wines for everyday people. Hi, welcome back to the Pairings Program. I'm Mary-Kate McCarty. When you're in quarantine, it can be hard to stay in shape, so you have to do your exercises. And here's a fun little one that'll help you keep your palate in shape. Oddly enough, it's called palate training. Technically speaking, the palate is the roof of your mouth, but it also means your ability to taste flavors, which we do with the taste buds on our tongue, where you taste bitterness, sourness, saltiness, and sweetness. This exercise will train you to look for four flavors in a wine, acidity, sweetness, alcohol, and in the taste of red wine, tannins. A tannin is an astringent compound found throughout nature, including in the stems, seeds, and skins of grapes. You don't usually find it in a white wine because white wines are made without the skins, seeds, and stems. And since tannins are astringent, instead of looking for how it tastes, you're looking for how it feels in your mouth, hence the term mouthfeel. For our control wine, I've chosen a Syrah. The Syrah grape is very thick-skinned, and the thicker the skin, the stronger the tannin. But if you let those large tannin molecules open up and breathe, it'll soften right up so you won't pucker up. At this point, I'm going to call in wine steward extraordinaire, Andy Candy, to guide us through the process. Hi, Hi sweetheart. Thank you. thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. It's always our pleasure. Thank you so much. I see you got a head start on the setup for us. I did. Wonderful. Yeah. So as you can see, she has five glasses set out. The first glass over here is going to be controlled glass. It's just going to tell us what the wine tastes like. It's just going to be a baseline taste. The second glass, we're going to add a teaspoon of lemon juice to. That's just going to add to the acidity of the wine, just to kick it up a notch. Second, we're going to add a teaspoon of sugar, just to kick up the sweetness in there. Third, we will add a shot of vodka. That will just add to the alcohol content, obviously. And then last, we will use a black tea bag, and then only a black tea bag will work, to add to the tannin of our red wine. Alrighty. Now that we've got everything set out, I just want to make a quick tasting note. So as Mary-Kate said before, we taste things on different parts of our tongue because of our taste buds. So when we take a sip of wine, you're just going to want to swish the wine all around your mouth just to coat your tongue and get the full flavor profile of the wine. Now that that's out of the way, we can start pouring wine. So I'll grab this. Okay. You're going to want to pour about a full glass in the control wine just because you're going to be using that more than all of the rest of the wine. And then after that, you're going to want to just put about a half a glass in the rest. So get that started. And then Mary Kate, if you wouldn't mind, would you add the lemon juice to the first glass? With pleasure. We have about a teaspoon in there. And then you'll add about a teaspoon of sugar to the second glass. Okay. Just a spoonful of sugar. Okay. Alrighty. Now that that's out of the way, we can add the vodka to the third glass. And then we'll add the black tea bag to the fourth. Now, because the black tea bag is just going to take a moment to steep into the wine, you're going to want to taste that last, and we're going to put it in there and just leave it sitting until we're done with that. Alrighty? Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> yes. Now that everything's set out, we're just going to go through the order of our tasting. So first, you're going to take a sip of the control wine. Again, you don't really need to know the flavor profiles yet. We're just tasting that so you can notice the difference in the altered wines. So after you take a sip of the control wine, we're going to move on to the altered wines, as I said before. And again, you're just noticing the difference. And then after that, after you understand the difference, after you kind of take your own little notes, you're going to take a sip of water just to cleanse the palate, and then we'll move on from there. Alrighty? Sounds good. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So we'll start by having you take a sip of the control wine real quick. Okay. Alrighty. Again, you're just going to want to swish it around your tongue, notice how it feels, notice the taste, notice the finish, and the finish is going to be what it feels like after you swallow. Very nice control line. Absolutely. <laughs> you made a good choice, that's for sure. Good so start. next we'll move on to the glass with the lemon in it. So again, here what we're looking for is the increase in acidity. Yeah, you can go ahead and take a sip. Okay. Um, so the increase in acidity is just going to feel a little bit like the sourness that you taste with tasting a lemon. So it's just going to lay heavier on the sides of your tongue. So... Mary Kay, do you notice a bit of a difference? That's a exactly bit? what it does. Mm -hmm. Lays heavy on the side of my tongue. And there's sort of a, 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 a kind of a sourness to it. That's where the sour taste buds are, actually. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. on the sides of your tongue. So okay. it's funny that you 
feel it on the sides of your tongue. It's just yeah. very accurate. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So again, yeah. what you're going to notice is the difference when it feels a little heavier on the sides of your tongue. It's going to be a more acidic wine versus the control wine, which is going to be a little less acidic. So does it feel heavier on the sides of your tongue than the control wine? Distinctly different, yep. Absolutely. So yeah. that's how you tell the difference between an acidic wine and a regular wine. Okay. All right. All right. So let's grab that sip of water and then we can move on. All right. Sounds good. Ready. All right. Okay. So. All righty. So again, we're going to start with the control wine. Okay. Coat your mouth. Understand the flavor profile. Got it. All righty, and then next we're moving on to the sugar. Okay. All righty. So sweetness tends to be felt on the tip of your tongue, so you're going to want to give it a quick swish forward in your mouth. And again, oddly enough, it's going to feel a little bit lighter on the tip of your tongue. It's a, just an increase in sensation on the tip of your tongue. So as opposed to the original wine, this wine will just give you that bigger sensation on the tip of your tongue. And do you notice that? Yes. It's very subtle, mm -hmm. very nuanced, but almost a little tingly on the tip of my tongue. And... Um, yeah, definitely a little uh, softer and sweeter than yeah. the control. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's just to help you tell the difference between what a sweeter wine would taste like versus a wine of the same caliber that's just a little less sweet. So if you were tasting two different Syrahs and one just kind of hit the tip of your tongue more, it's just going to be a little sweeter than the one before. Never thought of it. Yeah. Well, but you can definitely taste the difference. Yeah. Well, that's what yeah. this is for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All righty. So Beautiful. let's go with that water again. Okay. Keep it there. <laughs> All right, okay. now that we're ready, we'll go for that control wine one more time. Be happy to. All right, so alcohol has a little less to do with the flavor and a little bit more to do with the heat after you swallow. So if you were tasting a wine that had a bit of a higher alcohol content, it would leave a little bit more heat in the back of your throat. And in your nose. And in your nose, absolutely. <laughs> kind of travels that up there. That straight yeah. through, yes. Absolutely. Yes. But it, does it feel a little bit hotter than the first wine, perhaps? Oh, like I'm going to breathe fire. <laughs> <laughs> Have a little uh, wine with your alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. It's definitely different, though. Right. Much, much hotter. So what that's going to show us is that a wine with a little bit higher of an alcohol content is just going to leave a little bit more heat in the back of your throat as opposed to one without one. Very easy to spot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And this is definitely the easiest one to spot out of all of them for sure. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. So I'm going to grab our last sip of water here before we go for our tannin glass. Alrighty, so I will grab this out of here. I'm going to take a sip. Alright, there you are. Tannin. So as Mary-Kate said before, tannin is more of a mouthfeel than a flavor. So what you're going to want to do is coat your mouth and then swallow it and then notice the difference after you swallow. So Mary-Kate, what happens after you swallow? I feel every sensation on my tongue. Mm. Um, and it's a very drying sensation, almost to the point of being a little gritty. Very much so. Almost like a fine grade sandpaper. Almost to the point. Not yeah, offensive, absolutely. but just no. puckery dry. But a very distinct feeling. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So that's what many winemakers refer to as the finish of a wine, which is the feeling of the wine after it leaves your mouth. And that's going to be when you taste the dryness, which is caused by tannins most of the time in red wines. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, very distinct <laughs> flavor. Very. You can see how much it puckers up your mouth more than the control wine, much right? Much more so. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of these four different flavor profiles in wine. We sure do. What a blast. Thank you so much, Anne Dave. Thank you for having me, Mary Kate. My pleasure. So there you go. There's your exercise. Try it one night with a red and try it with a white the next. But do your exercises and keep that palate of yours in shape so you'll know what it is that you do like in a wine and what you don't. And remember, the perfect palate is whatever you think is perfect. <laughs> On that happy note, here's to your health. And to yours. Thank you. And here's to all of the essential workers, especially the nurses and doctors, who are out there fighting for us every day. A votre santé. Cheers. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now. <laughs>